I got a request to make a third person controller. About six months ago, I created a first person controller. And instead of setting up the project from scratch, I'm going to show how you can convert that first person controller to a third person controller. If you want to see the tutorial about setting up the first person controller, there is a playlist in the description where I set that up. But currently the main camera is inside the player. And for a third person controller, we're going to move the camera outside and I'm going to go to window package manager, search for Cine machine and we'll install it. Cine machine has a nice camera setup that we can use for third person controller. So instead of writing the camera controls from scratch, we'll just use Cine machines. After we have Cine machine installed, we can find the Cine machine at the top or in version 2021, you'll be able to find Cine machine in the hierarchy drop down menu. The Cine machine camera that we're going to use is the free look camera. So add that to our scene and in the inspector for follow, we want to connect our player and for look at, we also connect our player. Right here in the scene, we can see some of these circles that are drawn and there's three circles. Those are the orbits that the camera is going to rotate on. And you can see that the orbits are spread too far apart for the scene setup that we have here. So I want to change the height of those orbits. And right here we have the top ring, middle ring, bottom ring. So let's bring middle ring to 1.5 and the top ring to 3. Also, the bottom radius is a little bit too close to our player. So I'm going to change the radius to 2 so that the camera is going to be further away from the character. And with these changes, you can go to play mode and test out your camera movement. So that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it at that. And now let's go to our player and change some of the logic that we need to modify. I created the first person controller tutorial with both Bolt, Visual Scripting and also C Sharp. So in this video, I'm going to continue with that and show the changes that you can do with both approaches. Let's start with visual scripting. I have the flow machine currently selected. Let's click added graph. And inside here, we can see that we have rotation left and right, rotation up and down and movement. The rotation up and down was moving our camera and we're no longer controlling the camera. So this part right here, we can actually remove because it's controlled by Cine machine and rotation left and right. Currently, it's being controlled by mouse X. But we want to modify this so that the rotation is actually going to be controlled by our camera. So let's remove these units. And what I want to do is set rotation. And now we need to create that quaternion. So for a quaternion, we're going to actually make it from an Euler angle. And we want to rotate our player only at Y axis. So what we can do is get our main camera, get rotation from our main camera. Then we want to get Euler angles from the quaternion and we're looking only at the Y axis. So get Y, pass that into our quaternion Euler. And this logic right here is going to look at our camera rotation and use that Y rotation of our camera to set the rotation to our player. Quick side note about the movement in the tutorial, I actually used input get axis and some of the problem with using get axis is that there is some smoothness applied to it. So if you having that problem, you can switch to input get axis raw and use that option instead. And that will get rid of the delay that you might be experiencing with the movement setup that we used here. We don't need to change anything for the third person controller to work. So again, if you want to see the movement tutorial logic that we use here, there's a link in the description. And now let's go and test it out. So to see that the rotation is working, I added some glasses to our player. And you can see that the rotation is working fine. And now we can walk around and it follows our camera movement. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is some jittering. So let's go and do the same setup with C sharp and see if we're going to get a better result. So I'm going to remove this flow machine enable the script that we're using to control our player. And let's go edit the script. So in this script, we want to remove this rotate up and down and for rotate right and left, we want to switch this code. So for rotation, what we're going to do is quaternion dot Euler we will pass in zero for X for Y, we're going to use the main camera dot rotation dot Euler angles and we're going to get Y. And for Z, we're going to pass in zero as well. So again, in the movement, we can switch from get access to use get access raw. If you're experiencing a delay in your inputs, let's click save and let's go test this out. So right there, we have the rotation working and now walking is working as well. There's still some jittering with C sharp as well. Now let's try to build and run the project and see if the jittering is actually going to go away. So right here, I have a build project. Rotation is working smoothly. Let's try walking around. It looks like movement is working smoothly in the build version as well. 
There is a lot of things that are going on in the editor and sometimes there is jittering in the editor because of the background tasks that are run. So always check in the build version if the problem is there. So if you found the video helpful, click on that like button. If you have any questions, write in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one.